Hello there folks and welcome to the Tech Prattle. Now it's been quite a while since I posted my last video and there are reasons but I won't go into that too much here. Today we have this. Now this is a bit different to what I would normally look at. I have been after a decent microphone for quite a while. I was spending an inordinate amount of time fixing the audio issues during editing especially in the last couple of videos. Um, why? Because because maybe I care so much. I, I really do respect you of what the awesome video editor puts in here. Anyway, I'm showcasing the fine fine K678 here. It's pronounced fine fine although it's spelled fine fine. That's a weird one. Review it and as usual look at its value proposition overall. As before my parameters are thusly. We are looking for something which will make my voice sound more manly. I mean capture it properly. In all its glory should be easy to use and more importantly can work in a simple setup as I don't plan to use any external audio interfaces or preamps like Behringer's etc. Also I'm not after a microphone which can do different polar patterns. Um, those are good to have for my setup but I would rather pay less for a good polar cardioid or unidirectional microphone. This is the box it comes in. Now kudos were due. There are a lot of cheap microphones out there but you can clearly see that they have paid good attention to the packaging here. Now that's important because that tells you how much importance the company places on its product. Inside you are greeted by some paperwork including a manual which in this case is actually quite useful for a change and the premium feel continues with the foam packaging material they have used inside the box which is of good quality as well. Especially good to see as this sells for roughly 70 to 80 quid depending on your region of course. Let's see what else is there. A 5 8 male to 3 8 female adapter this is good to have for when you want to use it with a desk stand or a tripod etc and over here we have the cable which is a USB A to a mini USB cable. Damn, I was hoping for a Type-C cable really, but perhaps you can ignore it at this price. The cable itself is quite thick and about 2 meters in length, so should be plenty long for most of your use cases. And then we have the stand which is made out of metal, so therefore it is heavy and uh, it sits quite nicely on a table. And it has these two plastic knobs on either side of it to tighten the microphone at any angle you want. And then to the main attraction itself which is the microphone. The first thing you notice when you pick it up is the weight. Quite a heavy item, did not expect that. It definitely feels nice. It's all metal construction from what I can see including the stand so that's very impressive. The all black paint um, and the finisher actually just adds to the premium feel of the microphone as well. Normally I don't spend this much time talking about the packaging but it's very nice and notable for this price point in this case. Now the way Fine Fine has designed it, they are clearly going after Blue Yeti, that much is obvious, but at a much lower price point. You do miss out on some of the features but it's up to you to decide whether those are important enough for you. For example, this does not come with any additional software like some of the other microphones do, but for my setup it doesn't really matter. The only thing this microphone does is the polar cardioid pattern which again for my setup is more than enough. Polar cardioid or polar unidirectional pattern is a pattern where the sound is picked up mostly from the front, less so from the sides and even less from the back. According to the manual, uh, this is how the microphone should be positioned. So the mute button facing you is the front and on the top of the button there is a LED indicator which glows orange when it is off and green while it is recording and you can click it to turn it off and on. The feel of the button is actually quite good, it's not mushy, it's quite nice and it gives good feedback as well. The material at the top here is metal as well and at the back we have the gain button and a volume control button for headphones. So the gain button is there for you to increase the sensitivity of the microphone and the volume control button is for you to increase the, the listening volume for your monitoring headphones which implies that it has a headphone slot at the bottom which can be used for monitoring so in other words listening to yourself for recording. That's good. Next to it is a hole well for attaching a tripod. I think it is 3 8 and it does come with the adapter as well so that's thoughtful and then it's followed by a mini USB adapter. Not a type C but you know you know what at this price point it's okay. So let's go over the specs. It has a noise level of up to 9 decibels and a max SPL of 130 decibels. Now SPL is short for sound pressure level which means it can handle up to 130 decibels before it starts distorting. I was going to say therefore it means the higher the better and technically that is true but for a typical audio recording session at desk, at home etc. This is not a concern. Just don't go out recording blasts and things uh, with this microphone and you should be fine. Dynamic range on this is around 88 decibel which is more than enough for voice recording. Dynamic range typically denotes the range between the lowest and the highest noise level a microphone can handle. So overall the specs are very respectable for this price uh, which is around 65 to 75 depending on the location you are purchasing at. And just to make it clear it's a condenser microphone with a polar unidirectional or cardioid pickup pattern. 
So right, let's uh, test it a bit, shall we? Now, in a typical desk setup, you'd have it facing towards you with the mute button facing you. I guess it's uh, all right. So let's turn it on. So this is how it sounds from the front, uh, which is how it's supposed to be used ideally. And this is the pickup from the sides. And lastly, this is the pickup from the back. Right. Now, let's try and test the sensitivity as well. I'm going to just test the lowest and the highest. So, this is the lowest. And this is the test with the sensitivity set to the highest and with the noise coming from the same location. So, it's actually quite good. It uh, doesn't still match my partner's hearing level, but uh, that's a different story altogether. But for a microphone which is targeting close proximity voice recording, like bloggers, podcasters, and streamers, it's actually quite good. I guess the gain button can be quite useful as well for a streamer. For example, if you don't want to sit too close to the mic and it's not the optimal method, I know, but it's not a bad way to do things, especially in scenarios. For example, say you have the budget to buy only one microphone and you want to use it in different ways. And also the fact that it is unidirectional can be quite handy as well, especially in scenarios where you don't want it to pick up the keystrokes on your um, desk, etc. So that's quite handy. Or, you know, your mom yelling at you when you're streaming, etc. Depends on your mom's voice range as well. I'm not challenging her, by the way. And because this does not need any software, it is essentially plug and play. OS compatibility is not an issue, generally speaking. Full disclosure, though, I have not tested it in all versions of Unix. I am doing that and I aim to finish it sometime before I die. So look out for that. Okay then, so who is it for? Well, anyone I guess from the casual podcasters, YouTubers to streamers, even to the advanced users, as long as you're not very particular about the sound signature you're capturing on this. Do I recommend them? Well, if you've watched my videos so far, it always depends on your particular scenario because that will always be different from the person next to you. If you're after a good microphone with good capability within a tight budget, then absolutely, it should be on the top of your shortlist. If you're someone who is after the best there is though, then maybe it is not for you. There are better models out there, like the Shure SM series, but they come at a much higher price as well. I see it as more of a competitor to Blue Yeti though, but cheaper and in some instances depending on the region you are in by quite a bit and in that I think it does very very well indeed. The audio for this video is also recorded on this as well and I intend to keep using it for the foreseeable future. Right, so that will be it for now. A short and sweet review of Fine Fine K678. It still bothers me that they pronounce it Fine Fine but it is spelled fine fine never mind hope you liked it though and if you did please click like and subscribe to this channel and i shall see you in the next video cheers